Hey guys, this is Manag and today we will design waffle slab, slab or grid slab in Tecla Structural Designer. So let's get started. First of all, you need to just open Tecla Structural Designer and create a new file and let's see how we go about it. First of all, you set your country and your code according to your desired uh, things and then uh, we go all set, we go to model here and we go to construction levels and create the construction levels first because you need to level. So uh, first of all insert below so treat this as our plinth level we can name this as well as PL and uh, you can name this foundation level or if you want to you don't have to name this as well so minus 2 meter I am taking as the foundation depth plus uh, plinth height and then I will take this and insert above and slab thickness I will get 150 and spacing between floors uh, let's keep 3.2 meters uh, and then uh, this type I will make this as a cell structural slab level so like this we can do we can even make this as structural slab level because uh, we can you know uh, have but it's okay and then we can add uh, more floors up with g plus 1 g plus 2 g plus 3 let's keep up to g plus 3 for now and you can uh, create more also okay so then create okay so let's see how to quickly model the, this, this thing so first of all let's take an approximate model here so for that you go to print level and you just go to this uh, use this uh, uh, rectangular wizard to make uh, uh, just a random uh, grid line so first for preference we will take 4 meters in both the x and the y direction uh, the uh, you know grid spacing so then next next and finish this and then we go to the uh, see the structure in 3d and we go back to the plinth level and uh, then we provide our columns here default columns uh, we will just uh, take okay so you can also uh, change the column type and also the grade of the uh, reinforcement uh, used you can also change this so i'm going to use fp550 uh, here so just uh, change this and then uh, beam also for beam also i do the same grade it's better fp550 and uh, once the beam and column are given you can see the structure 3 this is the uh, structure now uh, it can come the addition of waffle slab so uh, just to zoom in and escape and zoom in a bit and then you go to edit here uh, you have this option of edit here and then click on create inputs and here uh, first of all make this as uh, this beam is there okay make this steel as concrete okay so then you can change the properties here uh, this is 215 to 500 you can change this as well okay uh, and after that you can change the concrete grade as well and after that you can create the infill so main thing is give the spacing here so num by number it is there so uh, preferably you will do by spacing because here it is by number but in other areas you have different spacing right uh, spacing you can give uh, a spacing of uh, let's say uh, 2 meters you can give spacing okay and then you can provide this so let's go ahead, one like this and one like this right so uh, first of all and then you go to uh, uh, validate the model here the validation is okay so you go to model you go to slab on beams and place the slabs there like this after press, press escape and then click uh, select this like this and select the slabs also like this and then go to edit and then copy and then you can copy there are various methods i'm just showing one method here copy and uh, copy this all these elements like this okay so that we can have the slabs so different uh, geometrical arrangement you have to find different tricks but the basic is the same and then you can copy and uh, since this is the grid slab so basically this uh, you know uh, we can have walls anywhere so the that thing is not an issue here okay so done and then you can see the structure 3d this the slab is uh, completed this waffle slab or grid slab is complete and after you do that uh, you go to model and you go to construction levels and you just uh, do this as a base and this also as base this also as a base and this also as base and click on ok and uh, uh, once this is done and you go back to the construction levels and make them back as unique because you don't want to just uh, if you apply the load different loading properties then we don't want to interfere this with that so this is it so let's apply some basic loading before that just to check out the uh, design here before that just uh, make sure you make this suppose as all suppose are not selected okay and just uh, let me select like this and uh, mm, uh, select this as fixed select this as uh, 
fixed so hopefully all supports are now fixed here so we'll apply some basic loads you can go to load here you can check the load cases here and you can delete the ones which you don't want dead load i'll apply in dead load everything okay so let's take dead here and uh, in, in that i'll just uh, go to uh, maybe uh, the plane level and to plane level here i'll only apply uh, you know lumped load uh, okay load and uh, here i'll apply level load level load of 5 written per meter square uh, let's apply here okay like uh, just uh, like this and live load of uh, in post load of 4 kiloton per meter square let's apply here like this okay so you can see here uh, dead load and the live load both have been applied uh, we can copy the loads to the other floors as uh, well uh, in the in, uh, as in this case this is symmetric structure if the side structure is not symmetric you can just uh, uh, you know uh, do it uh, one by one or copy the loads okay so i'll make this as a base 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 and base to just copy the load here okay and uh, you can see loads are copied so then you can make bury them back as unique here so these are back as unique now once these are back as unique make sure you go uh, let me do the seismic loading as well here so code spectra obviously uh, and then ignore seismic below base and zone let's do zone 3 here and okay zone 2 let's do okay important spectra 1.2 and then uh, no plan irregularities i make a special video and model response spectra analysis this is a model response spectra analysis not uh, this one so uh, now then uh, use model analysis and then next and uh, obviously select and select everything okay i can see import load 0.25 this is fine and then uh, story trip check uh, this is uh, fine oh, and then click on this operating next next finish and then again load load combination and uh, generate uh, next 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 finish okay and then uh, click on design design all static uh, let's do the static design first and check what is the design results so design results are ready you can see the columns are passed and there are some warnings here uh, so we'll check the warnings here and first of all let's check the ratio here uh, the concrete design ratio here so it seems that for the design ratio everything uh, is passed so we don't need to increase the size of the members so let's see what the warnings are uh, you know all about here okay so let's check a particular uh, beam here like this and uh, check member static here so it is you can see the it's passing in everything so it is longitudinal bars top bar limit checks so uh, it is failing in spacing so you know this is a little bit uh, weird that sometimes it fails in the bar spacing this thing but uh, you know structure is perfectly fine you know bar spacing you can see uh, it's the uh, it's called maximum allowed bar spacing here is 152 and uh, 154 so this doesn't make much sense because like if you uh, not, uh, manually also calculate what is the bar provided 220 and 312 so easily in a 215 into 500 but 220 uh, and 312 in two layers uh, in the bottom and top they can easily provide that so the, it's clearly not facing in the filling in the bar spacing so it doesn't make any sense sometimes it is but so the structure is safe and this is how you design a waffle slab or a, uh, you know grid slab in the tecla structural designer model let me know in the comments and uh, what problems you face in tecla structural designer let me know in the comments if i will be able to solve them i'll make sure i make a video on that thank you bye bye